was a very new thing for me to start animations. I've never been so close to designing a space and kind of realizing how the space looks and how the space feels before actually starting to make films about it. So normally we just do renders and stills or looking through a plan or a section which doesn't convey the, the essence of the space, the atmosphere that might go on. So I think it's very important to see the space through the lens. Students not only design buildings that uh, are represented in film, but also uh, use uh, architecture as a organizing principle for making a film. The traditional tools of representation for the architect are not necessarily easily read by the public. It's something that allows architectural designers to approach extra dimensions in what they design, such as sound, the narrative, memory, history, uh, but also the behavior, materials, weathering, the skills that our students uh, have very well applied to the film industry. We had to defend our own culture, our identity, safeguarding of what we believe in. We are orphans and never belong to no one. We decided to choose our own path with dignity. I envisioned the Hong Kong in 2047. We occupied, we defended, we lived together and grew organically. It's talking about the rule of laws, the separation of power that set Hong Kong fundamentally different from China. It took me a whole year to do it. It's very intensive work. Film is a really powerful tool that really engaging. It gives an instant impact to the audience. In a traditional way, when you look at the drawing, you, you have to digest the drawings. And, but in film, it, it gives you an instant impact that is so profound. No one has ever questioned the reasons of our citadel's existence. Our father has once again distorted the history and turned our citadel into a tourist attraction. <laughs>